Hey guys, it's Shadow Knight Paladin, and welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing another traditional speed paint, and I'm using my watercolor as usual, and we're doing sort of an original concept this time. I can't really say that the concept is original, but the art is original, I guess. Okay, so this was originally supposed to be my uh, Christmas video, but as you, if you watched me before Christmas, I decided to do a different thing for it and venture out of my usual watercolor videos. But I really like this idea and I just pushed it back. And it doesn't really matter what season it is, I just wanted to do it. So the concept was like a snow flower or I wanted to draw flowers and a person in a very soft almost whitish background but as you can see i kind of screwed that up immediately with the amount of pigment that i put on the paper but eh, it it still kind of worked out but it's not completely um it's not what do you call that it's not faithful to the concept that i really had in mind but it's it still it turned out nice, so I still like it. It's just not what I had in mind. So as you can see, I'm using a different, a sort of different style today. Usually I would do the lines first with the black fine liner, and then do the watercolor. But I felt like for this piece, a softer style is more appropriate. And I have done this style several times. Well before when I was still in college and I was taking my fine arts degree and another time was when I did that uh, the Kaipa Meiko drop pop candy video I also used this style because I really wanted a watercolory soft and not really jarring style for it and that's what I wanted to do with this piece so as you can see, I put some like yellow lace ar around the edges and this to create more interest and motion in the piece rather than just a pure plain blue textured background putting the yellow details on the side gives it more framing and it also sort of leads a bit more to the character so it's not just a boring, you know, concept and it's also me challenging myself to do more details with traditional work and just with framing and backgrounds in general. So I wasn't really 100% set with the color scheme. Originally I wanted to do a blue dress or a violet dress for the character, but I decided that it would blend too much and it would make the piece a bit too cold. So I got some red, mixed that in some, with some white, made this very soft colored red obviously, and it was to create contrast and more interest and not just blue and violet or green and that's like that's sort of boring since i do that a lot it's not a boring palette but i do it a lot so it's already gotten a bit boring for me and i only use the perp the violet rather that's not purple i use the violet for the little details and the lining and i do add violet to her skirt later on but I'll explain it when we get there. For her hair, I went to the blonde just to tie in with the lace around her. I tend to default to two colors when I do hair. It's either blonde or like a bluish black. And I don't know why I do that, but I just tend to default to those colors. And this time, it's not because I defaulted it. I defaulted it. I bleh. It's not because I defaulted to it, but because I used yellow for the lace, so I went with yellow for the hair. So it's not like, you know, too colorful, I guess. So at this point, I gave in and accepted that I put too much pigment on the background and decided to create more definition along the areas where certain things meet, so it has a bit more depth. So 
so we're doing the roses right now. And I really like how it turned out since I didn't really do a super detailed rose. It's not like several gradients of color. Uh, it's just plain red. And then I added even the scattered petals thing. It, I really like how it turned out. And I'll be very honest, the only flower that I actually really know how to draw is a rose. Um, I mean, I know how to draw it, um, as in I know how to draw it from different angles and all that. But if I needed to do any other flower, I would need a ton of references. And I will do that eventually. I'll move away from roses. This year, I promise, I will break my boundaries, push the limits, limit break. <laughs> uh, yeah, I want to improve more. I want to expand on what I can do. And I want to expand on, and you know, I don't want to be stagnant with where I am and what I do. And that should be your goal as an artist. I mean, you can't get too comfortable all the time, so that gets boring. So I will draw flowers someday, a different type of flower, maybe with other characters or maybe a f just flower by itself. We shall see. Alright, I forgot to mention this. I'm using colored pencils because I wanted to try this technique out. A lot of YouTubers here, especially those who use watercolor, they would use their colored pencils, either Prismacolor or Polychromos. They would use those and create more definition in their watercolor pieces, like with shadows and the mini shadows. And I've never really done that, so I wanted to try that out. It created a lot of texture. It's not obvious here on the video because it's zoomed out, but you'll see later in the preview. It is because, not because of the pencils or the watercolor, but it's because of the pad. The pad is cold pressed, so there's a lot of grain to it. Now, if this were a hot pressed paper or maybe a moleskin, that grain won't turn out. But hey, it added texture, so I guess it's okay. And I'm using my Pit Artist pens to just create some definition where there needs to be definition because admittedly, I did not do a good job of that with plain watercolors. Of course, I'm not really lining all the parts of whatever I'm lining. It's just in places where I feel it needs a little bit more oomph. And once again, I forgot how zoomed out my camera is, or how zoomed in rather. I, hmm, because my current setup works well for smaller notebooks, but I really haven't found a setup that really works for bigger note, like bigger pads. And since I'm not at my white desk, like my actual computer desk, I'm on a different table. I don't have a place to clamp my phone clamp, so. I need to figure that out. See, I'll see what I can do. Because it I often because I often forget that it's not really showing the entirety of the desk and that's kinda annoying. We'll see what happens. I really like how this turned out though. Um, it's not my usual super cold and blue piece and it's not my it's very soft and sweet, I think. So we're going in with some highlights with my Uniball Signo gel pen. And I do put highlights from the start in the base, but sometimes I accidentally swish into it so there gets color on it. So I'm just extending the parts where I want there to be highlights. So, we're nearing the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I really enjoyed this particular piece. It's different from what I usually do. And I really like how it turned out, admittedly. So... Please like or subscribe. I do a lot of art. I do it every Saturday. And follow me on Tumblr, Instagram, and DeviantArt. 
and I'll see you around.